This video would discuss some of the findings associated with the mandibular anterior teeth. We're first going to take a look at the mandibular central incisor. The mandibular central incisor is the smallest tooth in the mouth. The root on this tooth is flat or pinched. And a lot of times you can feel a groove running from the CEJ towards the apex of the root. The mandibular central incisor is bilaterally symmetrical, meaning the mesial and distal incisal angles are pretty much the same. The distal may show a little bit of wearing, so it may be a little lower. Let's now take a look at the incisal view of this tooth. This will help identify a mandibular central from a mandibular lateral incisor. The first thing that you'll notice is that the incisal edge or ridge is straight. Another thing you're going to notice on a mandibular central incisor is the location of the cingulum. The cingulum is straight dead center on this tooth. With mandibular central incisors, we're not really going to worry about which tooth number it is. The main thing you want to be able to do is identify it as the mandibular central incisor. The mandibular lateral incisor is very similar to a mandibular central incisor. The lateral incisor is not bilaterally symmetrical. This means that the mesial incisal and the distal incisal are not identical. In many cases, you're going to notice that the distal is lower than the mesial. This is true with most teeth in the anterior aspect of the mouth. Let's now take a look at the incisal view. On a mandibular lateral incisor, the incisal edge or ridge is not straight. The incisal leans lingually on the distal. This is what is referred to as the distolingual twist. Another finding you're going to notice on a mandibular lateral incisor is that the cingulum is shifted. The cingulum shifts to the distal on this tooth. So with all this in mind, do you know which tooth number we're looking at? That's right, this is tooth number 26, the mandibular right lateral incisor. The last tooth we'll look at is the mandibular canine. The mandibular canine has a long or stretched crown as when compared to the maxillary canine. Looking at the facial or lingual view of this tooth, you'll notice that the mesial is straight. The distal surface will have a bend or curve at the CEJ. You'll also notice that the distal surface is dramatically more curved than the mesial surface. So with all this in mind, do you know which tooth number we're looking at? That's right, this is tooth number 27, the mandibular right canine. Before we leave, let's take a look at the lingual surface of this canine. This canine, like all canines, has two lingual fossa. We have the mesial lingual fossa and the distolingual fossa. I hope this video has cleared up some of the information that's associated with the mandibular anterior teeth.